Andrew Tate's thoughts on weed. All right, and I've, I've, I'm, I'm sober October this week, bro. So I've, I've every single year for the last three years or four years, I think I've been sober. So let me, I, I, w- I really want to see this good organic weed one time and just sit there. <laughs> no, I don't want the th- reason I've never tried drugs in my life. I've never tried cocaine. I've never tried weed. I've never tried steroids. I've never tried anything in my life ever. It's because I know I'm gonna like. It. <laughs> Yeah. So that so it's just like I know if I smoke that, I'm gonna want it. But you have self discipline. I do have self discipline, but I also live in a country where that shit's completely unacceptable. Yeah, that, I live that, in, that I changes. Live in, it. I live in that Romania, it. right? So yeah. in Romania, if you get busted with that stuff, you're you're in big trouble. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like he- oh shit. Okay, that so that may, that makes sense why he really doesn't smoke. But I guess he also hasn't really. If if he truly, I don't know if I really believe he does. He hasn't really ever smoked. But I guess I guess you know what I'm saying. I guess. But that don't, that don't mean you can't be self-disciplined with it. But I, I agree that, I don't know if you said it yet, but you are definitely way more intelligent, way smarter, way more aware and focused of what you're doing when you're not smacked as fuck, bro. All right. And if you do it every single day, the way I do it throughout the entire year, you're losing a lot of time throughout the day where you could be focusing on something else at a higher rate. Kind of like a computer, bro. Your RPMs are going up when you're not smoking. So that, that that's what I that's what I would agree with. And it's just like, you know, I've got I've gotten this far without it. Yeah. It's kind of and also when we talk about happiness and the things we were talking about earlier, I actually genuinely enjoy being stressed and anxious all the time. I enjoy it. I, I don't want to relax. I like that I woke up at 7 a.m. It's now 11.30 p.m. And I'm at my desk screaming at my staff, typing away furiously. <laughs> I, I, that's just how I live yeah. my life. Yeah. I can't think of times I ever truly relax. And then this is how I got ahead. And, and then, then you get ahead and then you want to stay ahead. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's kind of just like the anxiousness is like endless motivation for me. There's always something to do. There's always work to do. There's always something that can be done better. I can't imagine a, a relaxed me. I can't imagine. See that that's that's how you become a high level individual, man, by sitting here and always trying to fix problems. There's always a problem out there that you can solve. And he's the guy that solves the problems, man. And then you you wonder why he's like, breathe air. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm always doing something. And and the people around me say the same thing. I've never seen you just relax. I'm like, I, I Damn. I can't. I'm taking one rip, just being like, <laughs> yeah. Relaxing. Yo, and I feel him. I feel him. I'm kind of the I'm kind of the same exact way, bro. All right. You need to do what you're supposed to do, not yeah, what you feel, feel like, like fucking, fucking doing. doing. Facts. That's a fucking fact, bro. Uh, always working, bro. Always working. Always got to make money. Always got to struggle, bro. <laughs> yeah, I've Just never eaten. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've never done it. And and when I was fighting, it was different, right? Because you train so hard, you need to yeah. sleep and stuff. But once you take away all the train, the proper training for fight, like I train a little bit each day. When you take away the proper fight training, it's just, I just, I don't know. You have to conquer the world. You have to fight yeah. the matrix. You got a good set of buddies back home, just a set group that you hang out with. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I've got the same friends I had when I was poor. So I haven't made any new friends. I, I hang around with my brother and my cousin and a couple other guys I've known since back in the olden days. And that's basically it. It's pretty much just yeah. us too, huh? Yeah. That's us. Yeah. New, new friends are just a pain in the ass. You yeah. Know, you don't just, know what they want. You don't know what people want. The higher level you get, the higher level scumbags that come around. And that's the fucking truth. It, it really is the truth. And, and, I, and also, like, you get to a certain degree of status and clout, et cetera, you have to sit there and, and accept, like, these people. It's kind of sus how they're saying that, but then they're both just kind of met each other. They've never had a conversation before. They're just hacking out, like, and then they're like, yeah, we get, they're scumbags. The new people are just kind of scummy and shit like that. Like, how y'all know y'all not scummy, y'all not going to be scummy to each other? That's, oh, that's funny. I'm going to hang around me when the balls are popping. But if it goes off in the club, they're going to leave me at my face smashed and yeah. why am i even hanging around yeah. with these people like what are they giving me are they funny I'm like fuck you <laughs> i don't need to hang around with you so yeah i try my very best to not really make new friends i try and keep my circle as small as possible and people i've been with since the beginning and it's easier that way and obviously you have a whole bunch of matt you guys get the same yeah, yeah. you know what it's like but you, I, I, something i like you said and it's everyone said it or anyone that's been successful you are who you surround yourself with and that's so fucking powerful especially for the younger kids your network is your net worth we heard it sugar sean we get it we know you are who you surround yourself with and if you have a group of just turds you're gonna be a fucking turd too and that's what's amazing that everyone understands that you are the some of the five people you spend the most time with but they still don't create their reality and they still hang around with dorks yeah it's like why are you doing that like if you hang around with killers you're gonna be the fifth killer you yeah. may not be the number one killer in your group but you're gonna be the fifth killer amongst the po- amongst the populace you're gonna do better and it's the same with everything man it's the same with money 
The number of times I've sat in rooms and there's people talking about money to a level even I don't have a clue what they're even talking about. And I'm like, I'm in the right room. Yeah. Because they're saying words I haven't heard yet. Yeah. So this is the place to be, right? You need to be, you need to be doing that shit. If you're just hanging around a bunch of brokies, then then you're gonna stay a brokey. And I say this, and then people go, Oh, yeah, but how do I make rich friends? Well, then you gotta provide a value to them because because life's value exchange. You have to be valuable to rich people in some way or valuable to hardworking, dedicated people in some way. And it's not hard to do if you actually want to get up and work. I've, I've had a bunch of people come to me and just offer. You see, all right, cool. Like, let, let, let's talk about that because some, some, some people are going crazy right now in SMMA, social media marketing agencies. All right, and this is where I sit here and I always tell people, all right, it's like, yo, if you're sitting here watching YouTube and consuming content, especially if you watch one person over and over and over and over again, how can you be a value of them? All right, figure out how to clip their things, how to put, captions behind it and how to work TikTok and post these things. Post the most valuable pieces of information that they, they, they sit here and tell you because that's worth something to them. And they're willing to pay you for that. And you're going to watch it anyways. And that's how you be very, very, very critical with what you're paying attention to. So, you know, that's, that's, that's a way to make money. That's a value towards somebody sitting here watching right now things like hey man I'll, I'll or or, ju or just your skill set man like any anything there's so many different things where you really just gotta think about throughout your day what are the things you utilize what businesses do you consume from and how you can help those businesses they still need to grow and there's still money to be made within that growth just take photos of your cars i'll make an instagram page and i'll make a big page of all the photos of your cars you have anything I'll be like, all right, cool. Now there, now he's in my inner circle, right? And I'm worth a bunch of money. If you would just come to me and go, hey, bro, teach me how to make money. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you have to find a way to provide value to people. But I, but I also, and, and I don't want to be negative or pessimistic. I also really truly believe a lot of people are exactly where they deserve to be in life. 